Hey guys, what's up in this video? I will compare the specs and features of the newly announced Motorola Moto G to the Motorola Moto X. So first of all, starting off from the display, the Motorola Moto G has a 4.5 inch display whereas the Motorola Moto X has a 4.7 inch display uh, while both of the devices have a 720p display, this is not 1080p, both devices are in the budget range uh, and also uh, the PPI on the port devices are not different from each other, the Motorola Moto G has, uh, has a slightly higher PPI than the Motorola Moto X at about 329 PPI whereas the Moto X has 316 ppi and the Moto x display is a amoled display and which is a uh, more vivid than a lcd display of the motorola moto g looking at the weight and dimension of both devices the motorola moto g has a 143 gram of weight which is slightly higher than the motorola moto x or 130 gram weight and in terms of thickness, the Motorola Moto G is, however, uh, also uh, slightly thicker than the Motorola Moto X at about 11.6 mm, whereas the Moto X is 10.4 mm in thickness. Looking at the software of both devices, the Motorola Moto G comes with Android 4.3, whereas the Motorola Moto X comes with Android 4.2.2 out of the box. In terms of processor, the Moto G comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, which is basically a quad core clock at 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, and the Moto X has a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro, which has the Motorola's uh, X8 computing system running, which is uh, for some dedicated uh, work, which divide the work. Uh, in cores and st something like that and also the this is a dual core 1.7 gigahertz uh, with the Adreno T20 GPU uh, but the difference here is that uh, the Moto G comes with a 1 gigabyte of RAM uh, but on the other hand the Moto X comes with a 2 gigabyte of RAM in terms of storage, the Moto G comes with the 8GB of internal memory and on the other hand the Moto X comes with the 16GB of internal memory and also the Moto X has a 32GB variant whereas the Moto G also has a 16GB variant but it doesn't matter because both of the devices doesn't have a micro SD slot. Looking at the camera of the both devices, the Moto G has 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and on the other hand, the Moto X has a 10 megapixel camera with LED flash. And the difference here is the video recording. The Moto X can record 1080p HD video at 60 frames per second. And on the other hand, the camera on the Moto G can only record 720p HD video with, uh, on the uh, at 30 frames per second, which is not the best because 1080p video is what best. Uh, 1080p video is the main thing that is common in all, these, uh, all, all of the smartphones out there, even the Galaxy S2 can record 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second, but this device has been uh, lacking in the camera department uh, with only 720p HD video which is not impressive and on the other hand the front facing camera is 1.3 megapixel on the Moto G and on the Moto X it's 2 megapixel camera and also we do get more pixels here on the Moto X so the camera here in camera department the Moto X it definitely come ahead of the Moto G. In terms of battery, the Moto G comes with a 2017 mAh battery and on the other hand the Moto X comes with a slightly better 2200 mAh battery. So finally looking at the price, the Moto G is definitely the budget phone between the two at about $1.179. Uh, of contract whereas you can get the Moto X at a price point of $2.299 of contract which is the 16 gb model and also you can get the 32 gb model at the price point of $2.399 thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video then please give this video a thumbs up and for more videos hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video peace out